हेलो माय डियर चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू मीराज मैथ क्लास सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी योर न्यू चैप्टर इन ज्योमेट्री एंड दैट्स एंगल्स यू नो वेरी वेल राइट बट बिफोर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट एंगल्स लेट्स सी सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विथ अ क्विक रिव्यू लेट्स सी what's point all of you have seen the pencil lead top that's point pen nib top that's point so they are named points are named as c capital c capital m capital q or any other like a b c d x y z many more a point is the most fundamental object in geometry it is represented by a dot and named by a capital letter a point represents position only it has zero size that is zero length zero width and zero height now the next one is ray where do you find ray yes we have heard rays sun rays why because it starts from sun but it extends infinitely it reaches anywhere so it's a very good example to remember right children so ray in geometry is the line that connects the two points but it extends in only one direction infinitely you see you can see there are two points one is end point where the ray starts but the second one point is there only to name it but that side it extends infinitely where you can see there is an arrow the next third point is line all of you have seen line example we can say uh, the train line okay all of you have seen railway tracks that we say train line why because you see if you stand you will not find where the tracks end it is extended on both the sides right so line the set of all points between and beyond two points is called as line you can see there there is a name given cx that's a line because both the sides you will find arrow and it is extended on both the directions the next one is line segment what is line segment it is also a line but it is having two end points that means it stops there it is not extended on either side it is having two end points line segment a portion or piece of a line that allows you to build polygons determine slopes and make calculations its length is finite that means we can measure it with a scale and is determined by its two end points so if we take a scale and we measure from one end to the other we can measure the line segment but we cannot measure the line now 
These all are the description and figure. And you can see how it is written the symbol. First one is point. Let's see what it is once again. A geometry element that has zero dimensions. That means I have already explained you. And how the figure is? It's just a point and it is named as P here. For example, how it is written? Symbol P or it is written as point P. Then comes line. A line is a collection of points along a straight path with no end points. Okay, there is no end point. You can see AB is named but both the sides arrows are there. And when we write also you see AB is written or BA is written. And on the top of it a line, small line on both the sides arrow is put and written. Line segment. A line segment is a part of a line that contains every point on the line between its endpoints. So XY, the figure you see, XY is there and it stopped there. Both the X and Y are the endpoints. So while we write the symbol XY, on it we give a bar without any arrow we just put a bar or we can write y x and put a bar then the fourth one is ray a ray is a line with a single endpoint that goes on and on in one direction you see in the figure p q P is one end point. Q is a point but on that side it is extended infinitely. So arrow is given like P Q and it is written as P Q and as the arrow is on Q side while writing also we have put the arrow on Q. But in the case of a ray, we cannot write QP and put an arrow on the left, pointing to the left side. We don't write like that. Always the arrow is pointed towards the right hand side while we write the symbol. Okay. Then here is a... Uh, activity for you. You will draw this on a chart paper. You will write the vocabulary. These all are the main points. Point, line, line segment, ray. Then you will write the definition and draw a picture of it as it is given here. Point in red color, line green, line segment black, ray blue. So use these four different colors and do it. You will enjoy my children. I hope you all understood. Thank you.